Hey guys, uh, in today's video, I'm going to show you some practical examples of weight loss, very specific changes you can make towards meals. Um, I've talked a lot about the technical aspects of weight loss, you know, numbers and, you know, protein and calories and how that all works. Um, if you want to see that, check out some of my other videos. But today here, I have five meals submitted to me by friends and family. Um, you know, trying to, I try to represent things that you or I might, you typically eat on a normal breakfast, lunch or dinner. Um, and I'm going to show you with each meal, I'm going to show you three things. One, you know, if, if it was a meal I was considering eating and I was trying to lose weight, what are the first changes that I would make myself? Two, why would I make those changes? And three, um, what are some alternative changes? You know, if you don't like those changes, what are some options that might be more suitable to you? Or if you want to be more aggressive, what else could you possibly do? So starting off with uh with our first meal we have here some uh some potatoes with some cheese and cherry tomatoes and then there's two eggs on there um we have slices of toast and some um some two percent milk so the first things i would do if i was going to eat this one i would ditch the toast entirely i would add probably two more eggs and then i would change the milk to one percent milk okay so why am i ditching the toast um the toast, you know, each slice of bread is, you know, just a, a brick of carbs. It's going to be about 100 calories in each slice. But also the butter is um, seriously underestimated. That, you, you start buttering toast, it adds up very quickly. Um, even on one slice of toast, that can easily, easily be another 50 or 100 calories. Um, so you remove those two slices of toast, you've taken out three or 400 calories just like that. That alone is enough to um, initiate almost a pound of fat loss every single week. So incredible. Um, I added in two eggs because we don't have enough protein here for me, but especially for people who are only eating three times a day, uh, this isn't going to cut it. Um, I have a video out talking about protein and body composition, why it's so important. Um, go watch that after this if you haven't. Um, but those two eggs we added back in, that's 120 calories and we took out you know, three or 400 from the toast. So massive net gain right there. Um, reducing the milk to 1%, um, to 1% fat milk. That's um, another super easy thing to do. One of the easiest sacrifices you can make, and you're you're gonna cut out you know twenty or thirty calories per cup. Um, so really easy change there. If you want to get even more aggressive, we can recognize the potatoes. Additionally, are just you know little chunks of calories. Okay, reducing the portion size of the potatoes by a little bit um, is a great thing to do if you're concerned about hunger. Um, you know, throw in some broccoli or cauliflower. Those are my favorite things to do to kind of um, fill space without adding calories. Um, and then the cheese we used in the in the potatoes, reduced reduce fat cheese is a great option as well. Um, that has a, a decent amount of protein in it, and by cutting out the by choosing reduced fat cheese when possible, you're saving about 50 calories per um, per serving as well. Uh, so lots of changes we can easily reduce the you know, increase the protein intake for this meal while reducing the calories of the meal by four or five hundred. Uh, which is massive. You know, you do that three meals a day, you're just going to shrivel up. Next up, we have some McDonald's, okay? And I don't have any problem with fast food, okay? We can, you know, identify, you know, nutritional aspects and, you know, real food products just as we could with any home-cooked meal. Um, the first thing I see here, and, um, well, you know, what I would do is, one, I would I would ditch the soda there entirely. I would get a, uh, a glass of water or probably some milk, actually. I would ditch the french fries and I would choose a, um, a mini blizzard instead. Okay, why would I do that? I actually looked at this um, recently. The mini blizzard has less calories than a medium french fry, okay? And it actually has a little bit of dairy protein as well. That's awesome. Uh, the french fries, you know, they're sticks of energy that are dipped and fried in energy sauce, okay? Um, just lots of calories. Um, I think we have this, um, there's kind of this indoctrination of, of demonizing foods that are sweet and taste good, right? But the mini blizzard, it has less calories from a fat loss perspective. It's it's a better choice um, than the medium fry, at least. And you can find that nutritional information available through the, through McDonald's websites. The the um, the soda, it's just, it's sugar water, okay? Depending on how much ice is in there, a cup of that size could easily be three or 400 calories. That's probably, you know, in all of your dieting strategies, cutting out just sugar water, right? I know it tastes good, but that's probably the easiest thing. It's not going to affect your satiety or how full you are in at all. And it's such an easy way to cut out calories. You're probably gonna feel better too. Um, this probably isn't quite enough protein for me. 
So additionally, I would honestly order, uh, you know, like a dollar chicken sandwich on the side in addition to this to make sure I was getting that or the glass of milk. Um, and then, you know, further changes you could make. Let's see, it looks like this guy, my friend who submitted this to me, he already omitted the mayonnaise on this sandwich. That's a that's a great thing. Um, mayonnaise is made out of oil. You know, a tablespoon or two can easily be 50 or 100 calories, right? So just with condiments in general, if you choose a reduced fat option, you're seriously restricting calories very easy. Um, omitting it is also an alternative. And the, the crispy fried chicken, that's you know the same thing. You have the chicken breast, which is you know great, wonderful protein. You're dipping it in you know some kind of flour batter, which is calories, and then you're frying it in oil, which is even denser calories. So choosing the grilled um, chicken is another way to easily omit another 50 or 100 calories. And then the French fries, whether you do the French fries or the mini blizzard, like I would suggest, because it tastes better. Um, that's there's still either one is a still a uh, huge source of calories that you can easily admit uh, again the soda here is going to be the first thing to admit massive change in calories um so there we go that's mcdonald's perfectly fine meal from there um here we have a let's see some kind of sliders with um it looks like roast beef and uh, i actually remember she told me this was a uh, munster cheese or however you say that on there as well so the first thing i'm noticing again is you know there's a our major source of energy is the bread, of course. Um, this is a, a fairly modest amount, right? You know, depending on how what your energy needs are. Um, for me, this would be fine, but I would have a glass of milk with this and I would probably double the beef on there. If you want to get more aggressive and reduce calories, I would probably just remove that top half of bread, right? Eat it as an open-faced sandwich, right? Um, it looks to me like by the size of that bread, if you remove just that the top piece of bread there, you're probably cutting out about 200 calories. And then the cheese on there again, it's probably, you know, Munster. I don't think you can find reduced fat Munster cheese, but you know, if you used a reduced fat mozzarella, that's my go-to. Um, you're probably cutting out another 50 calories or so. The salad is um, great. You know, obviously the salad, you know, it doesn't really have anything in it. You know, there's not really any calories, but the dressing, we always, 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 I recommend looking at dressings and condiments and things like that. Um, I can't really tell what kind of dressing that is. It's probably a, a sugar-based dressing. Usually they'll be either oil-based or sugar-based. or sugar -based. And um, oil-based dressings are obviously going to be much denser in calories, but even sugar-based dressings, they can add up depending on how much you're putting on there. And you can find artificially sweetened or reduced sugar alternatives to those dressings. A very easy way to cut out another 50 or 100 calories. Also, it looks like there's, uh, you know, I see some kind of sheen on the top of that, on the top of that bread. I don't know if it was, you know, you know, kind of basted with um, butter or oil or something like that. But those kind of methods of preparation are very important as well, right? Cooking anything in bread in our, or sorry, in butter or adding oil to it is, you know, those calories are going to add up very quickly because fat is very calorie dense. So choosing methods of preparation that don't require butter or oil are always going to be great ways to save another another 50 or 100 calories, right? And and look, um, honestly, I, I say 50 or 100 calories, but you know, that's kind of what it comes down to. A lot of little changes, as long as you choose those lower calorie options, they're going to add up very quickly. And if you get a couple hundred calories throughout the day, you're losing a pound of fat every week, just like that, super easy. Um, you know, right? It's about making the right choices, right? We're always gonna be having to sacrifice something, but finding the easiest sacrifices are going to be um, is what's going to make a, a, any kind of diet plan sustainable. Okay, so moving on uh, to meal number four. So what I would do here, I would, um, it looks like we have some chicken from the protein. There's actually a significant amount of protein in the pasta, so we're almost good there. I'd probably add a, a glass of milk on the side just to, just to round it out. But again, we have the toast, which, you know, again, with that butter, we're sneaking in calories really quickly. I would just scratch the toast entirely. That would cut up, you know, 150, 200 calories. Um, and then the next thing I would be looking at here is portion size on the pasta, right? Um, you know, it's all about is our energy intake appropriate to our energy needs? And especially if we're trying to lose weight, we have to reduce that energy intake. And, you know, pasta, while it's, um, I think it's a great food, um, it's certainly a dense source of energy. So I would probably, if I was on an aggressive diet, I would reduce the amount of pasta by there by a third or maybe half. Okay, right, and that's cutting out hundreds of calories already. And then the cheese, um, I'm not sure, that looks like some kind of grated Parmesan. I'm not really sure about the nutritional information on that, but look, that brings up another point. Looking at nutrition labels is how you get to this point where I'm at, where I can just 
look at food and say, this is the change I would make. There's a hundred calories out the drain. You have to look at your nutrition labels. It might be, um, it might seem, uh, you know, kind of annoying at first, but you're going to memorize things really fast, especially your favorite foods. You're just going to remember, you know, this much pasta has 200 calories. There you go. It's, it's not that hard, but please look at your nutritional labels, get familiar with those foods. Okay. So I would, so I'd assume the Parmesan cheese has quite a bit of protein. It's pretty low moisture. So it's probably a lower fat cheese. Um, so I wouldn't be too concerned about that. Mostly I would be removing the toast, reducing the pasta portion size here and adding a glass of milk to make sure my protein was rounded out. Okay. Next meal. So I see our protein. It looks like we probably have about four or five, maybe six ounces of beef there. So there's a pretty, pretty decent amount of, of protein. I, you know, my go-to is just add a glass of milk on the side. I'd do that again to make sure I was hitting my protein targets. The major source of energy here that I'm looking at to reduce calories, tortillas and the rice. Okay. Just, um, straight carbs. I would probably omit the um, the rice entirely from these, I would probably leave the tortillas in. That's going to be probably about a hundred calories right there. And then I would add back in probably some onions or something and then reduced fat cheese. There's not a lot of cheese on this, but uh, you know, I think it's a good habit to get into, um, with this amount of cheese, that's probably only going to be like 10 or 20 calories. But especially if you're someone who likes to load up the cheese, really look at the, look at the reduced fat cheeses. Um, salsa is incredibly low calorie. I love salsa. I think that's one of the, one of my major secrets to flavoring a lot of foods because it's so low calorie and it's delicious. Sour cream is also somewhat low calorie, but it does have some fat in there. And by choosing again, a reduced fat sour cream, which I think tastes almost identical. You've cut out another, you know, about, I think it's about 60 calories in two tablespoons and then a reduced fat sour cream is going to have about 30 calories. So I love sour cream, but you know, depending on how much sour cream you're using, you know, that's another 50 or hundred calories. And that's really all it takes. You know, if you, if you're cutting out a hundred calories, you know, three meals a day, four meals a day, you're going to start seeing changes. So those are, those are the changes I'd make. Additionally, if you wanted to get more aggressive, you know, you can just scratch the, you know, scratch the tortilla entirely. A lot of times when I'm really aggressively cutting, I'll really just have, you know, plates of, um, plates of meat basically. And then with my milk, and then I might have some fruit or something, right? Super low carb, super low fat, uh, method of preparation on this meat as well. Right. I can't really, I don't really know exactly what's going on there, but was it prepared with butter and oil? Those are always really big things to look at, you know, reducing that quantity of those quantities of fats is probably the most effective way because it's really the protein and then the carbs that are going to fill you up. Reducing the amount of fats in foods is such an easy way to, you know, it affects the flavor, but I think it's a sacrifice well worth it. Um, taking out tons of tons of calories. Um, so that's what I do for this meal. Yeah. I'd, I'd get rid of the rice, replace it with onions, half fat, sour cream, have a glass of milk. Um, so I hope that shows you kind of what I'm looking at, right? That's all my meals. Um, but basically it's the same things, right? Identifying, um, sources of unnecessary fat that we can reduce, um, sources of carbs that might be excessive for our needs and then reducing those, replacing them as necessary with my go-to is always going to be very low carb, um, you know, fibrous vegetables that are going to help you feel full, but always also making sure we hit the protein. Um, if you haven't checked out some of my other videos, right. Um, I'm huge on protein for weight loss, right. That's always going to be the first thing I look at with any meal. Um, I have a video talking about protein and body composition and all of its effects. Um, go take a look at that. I have, you know, the first video I have ever, ever made, um, I shared everything I know about fat loss. It's very technical, but I tried to make it digestible. Um, it's all there for you. Um, and I have a couple other videos out too that might help you. But um, beyond that, if you want, you know, if you feel, still feel like you're a bit of a fixer upper, um, yeah, I have a link to scheduling down below. Um, let's talk, let's, let's fix you up. I hope this was helpful. Um, good luck everyone. And thank you and take care.